worst thing that could happen. I've done worse things. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Land, I finally got him here. You asked if he's real. Uh, I've done it. I've got him here. I've got him to come down here. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule today to be here. Today. I'm ready, man. I'm excited. All right, you ready to do it? I'm nervous as heck, dog. Okay. How do you do it? Hot stuff. Awful. Awful? No, okay. I don't. I don't like hot stuff. Okay, neither do I. Okay, good. All right, awesome. Have you ever seen the show Hot Ones? Like, oh yeah. Yeah, you've seen it. Uh, people love to watch okay. people like in pain. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? Right? Absolutely. And what a phenomenal idea. Thank you to the creators of Hot Ones. I mean, this idea has just been awesome. Uh, we love doing it every week. It's been it's been so much fun. Thank you so much. We bought the sauces straight from the show. That's right. Um, and we are having a blast doing this. I mean, you can do this with your friends. You can do this with anybody. Honestly, like that's what the best part about it is. So, uh, so you ready to do it? Did I have to sign like a liability waiver? No, sir. This is your dealership. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Sounds good. The only thing that happened is me, right? That's right. People okay. get to see me get sick on TV. All right. On video. Let's do it. Okay. So let's take a bite of the first wing. Do we have to? We do. I thought we were going to talk do. a little no, bit. No, no, no. We already just did. We talked. That's it was great. Enough we, talking? That was us breaking the ice, my friend. The Bit. left one. We're starting from left to right. Left. They got your All right. Yeah. That's good. This, this, yeah. this, this looks this pretty This one, yep. Yeah. This one gains your trust. How big a bite do you want me to take? A decent sized one. I, mean, I can't just wuss out with a little nibble. I mean, nibble. a quarter of the wing at least. How about a little nibble of stuff? Uh, okay. He took a decent bite. Yeah, we gotta go after that's it. That's good. Not no taste bad. A little zest to it. That's okay. Come on. So, I feel like I had uh, you know awesome beginnings here. I started out as a porter, mm -hmm. moved my wife to a salesman, uh, then went to an inventory manager, and then now I'm your used car manager right. here. So, can you tell I'm us doing something? better than you. You think that's hot? Well, <laughs> that's okay. I, I'm saying, like, I'm, I don't do well with spicy stuff either. People think because I do a show, like, man, he does great with spicy stuff. I don't. I don't. You should see my face, and they're like, oh, you got to eat the wings too. And I'm like, oh, man. What? This is going to be so, good. If he's can you tell us about your beings? Tell us how you got from where, like, tell us how you got to where you are a little bit. You want a recap of how we got to eating chicken wings at 10 a.m. here? Man, well, there, you want to go that far? Because I don't think we have enough time. Go back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Where'd you Man, get you started? How we... I, I've been in this business for over 20 years. I love the car business. It's in my blood. Okay. Um, I started out selling things, though, when I was a kid, 13 years old. I sold baseball cards. I'd ride my bike to baseball card shows. I'd set up. I'd sell, you know, I'd open up wax packs and get the, the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card and sell it, try to make some money. And uh, so that's how I started out, really, in the, in the entrepreneurial world and okay. selling things. And... It just is in my blood. I love the car business. We got the Kia franchise in 1998. Nobody knew what Kia was. Okay. Um, you know, it, we've come a long way, and the car company has come a long way. Back in 1998, we had two cars, the Sophia and the Sportage, and they were tough. They were okay. rough. You know, we didn't sell many of them. Um, but all of a sudden, things started happening. We hooked up with a great marketing company that really put us on the map. We had a lot of fun with our commercials back in the day. It was, do you have a job? Do you have $199? Do you want a new car? And we used all these crazy voice impersonators like George Bush, Bill Clinton, Mike Tyson, yep. Clint Eastwood, Fat Albert, Austin Powers. Yeah. You know, we just kept going and going and going. So people knew us about you know the, our commercials with these voices. And that sort of put us on the map. And we started selling a bunch of cars. And then all of a sudden, Kia said, hey, you're doing a great job in Toledo. How about you go to Finley? And then okay. pretty soon they said, hey, how about you expand to Lima? So okay. there's been some other uh, some other ups in there, too, with Hyundai and Volkswagen. We've had some other things where we've grown the company. But uh, Absolutely. it's been a lot of fun. It's a good role. Absolutely. And we love to do stuff here. like this. This is Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is why I love working. That's right. why I like being a part of this. this we is, like to be different. This is fun. This is that's something right. special right here, man. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for the second wing? No, I, I don't get to finish the first one. If you want to. That was delicious. Okay, well, I'm glad I told you it was good. All right. All right, let's move on to the second one. What do I do uh, if I get through this without any kind of like help? Is that a bonus? You know, we'll clap extra hard for no, you. I'm sorry, right. my hands are Well, we're with the DQ, you. right? DQ did it with nothing? Yep. Right. And we give him credit. He walks around here with his chest puffed out. He walks around here, he I'm gives him credit. <laughs> I'm bringing water. I can taste that on my tongue. Yep. That was a big bite. Yep. Alright, they're getting a little hotter now. Getting a little hotter. A little hotter. Woo! Alright. So, aside from being responsible for, um, you know, hundreds of people in multiple dealerships, you're also a father. Um, and I heard you like to do some special activities, a lot with your kids and stuff like that. You do some hunting? For sure. Okay. Really, man. She uh, actually does some hunting, hunting with me. Uh, she shot a deer with her crossbow a couple of years ago. So, okay. first one. So, we have some fun together. Good. Good. Hi, Amelia. <laughs> She's, um... Uh, my other two kids are out of town right now. They probably would have been here <coughs> watching me suffer too. But my <laughs> wife's got them up north. 
Uh, yep. So they're uh, they would have been here to awesome. laugh at me too. Yeah, they'll get with me. They'll ask a lot. About oh yeah, they'll yeah. be able to yeah. see yeah. it. No Absolutely problem. good for them, man. <laughs> yeah. Good for them. How about you? You have kids? I do not. Not yet. I have a dog. I have a dog, and he's very important to me. So that's that's, that's my dog child. All right, so. cool. Okay. I got a golden retriever too. Yeah. Sam. 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 Right. Yep, dog lover for okay. sure. Okay. Absolutely. Me too. Nice. Good. Third wing. Third one. Let's go okay. for it. So let me ask you a question about the wings. Yes, sir. So like this is my kind of wing. Okay. This kind. The drum. The drum. I yes, like sir. the drum better than the wing. What the, about you? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I probably have a drum person too, honestly, man. It's just so it. easy to get the meat around there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's nothing I gotta. You know what I mean? It's you dip them in the ranch better too. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I noticed the man no, knows his wings, like Ray said. There, there's no ranch on the table though. No, we don't. Well. We could have done it. We could have done it for well, you. Well, at least to finish the other ones. Well, if you want to, we'll get some ranch. We'll get some at the store right now. Now this, uh, this I, I think this is going to be pretty hot. The third one is zesty. Yeah, I've watched the, the show. I can zesty. tell when you okay. get to the third one. Yeah. That's when it kicks. Absolutely, up. Dave Eversol felt it. Yep. Whew. Okay. Where is Dave? Is he out there laughing at me? He's probably somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah creeping. There he is. I'm going to try to He's find lurking. the spot with the least amount of spice on it. <laughs> okay. Smart. I'm gonna go a little smaller bite after that. I did not find the small bite. <laughs> well, that was a good one. A big bite. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just all comes out. You try to trick me with that because you can get a big piece of meat, you know, on that one. Okay. I did. <laughs> Woo! So you recently won a very special award. Can you see the tears coming down? I yet? can, my friend. I can. My, I can feel the sweat coming yeah, out of my you're head. You're turning now. red. You're about raping right now, honestly. <laughs> Should I do another bite? If you want to. That was a good wing. Where do the wings actually come from? Well, you doing okay? Ones, I'm doing. We might need to get I this told you, man, in here. I love I the water. I love the host of the show. I love the water. I'm a rookie. <laughs> Derek Kroger Jr. I swear, man. These came from B Dubs down the road, but we've done Frickers and Finley too. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Who's, who's got the best wings in Lima? Ooh, who's got the best wings in Lima? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to get a shout out to 235 Grill. Honestly, they were the people cool. that were like, man, is Steve Taylor even real? And I was like, he is. He is. And I brought that to Becky. And Becky's like, all right, I'm going to see what I can do. She worked her magic. She can do anything she wants. She got him down here. I swear she runs the place. So She does? She does, yeah. yeah. Them dudes at the desk, they think they run the place, but they walk right back into no, the no, center no. office and ask Becky. Becky told me I needed to be here this morning, and yeah. I said, yeah. Absolutely, What yes. am I doing? Yes, ma'am. Right. Yep. right. I didn't know, and then I had to put on an apron. Right, yeah. Eat yeah. some chicken. You just put the apron on, absolutely. Yeah. You don't ask nothing yet. I'm going to put it on. That was good. I'm going to go for another bite okay. of this Okay, go for another bite. That was for a little bite too. Shoot. I, gotta, I better do a bigger okay. bite. That's a red pepper flake right, right there, yeah. though, you man. You see it? Yeah, be careful. Abort. Let's find well, another spot. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Pretty good. You know, Chick fil A, they do a lot of breakfast sandwiches now. And you wonder who has chicken for breakfast. You should get some waffles out here, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's flexing. He's confident. He's confident. You're going to kill me in these last two, huh? The fourth one's just rough, man. Yeah, I've seen that. I've, I've seen people go down on the, the fourth one. The fourth one's rough. Who was it that went down? Uh, was it? I mean, Dave Devin? never saw really felt it. I mean, Devin? Devin definitely felt yeah, it. Yeah, Devin felt yeah. it. I can feel my lips tingling. I did. You did. Can I get you something? Yes, sir. I got it. You got some milk over here. You want some milk? Yes, milk? sir. <laughs> nice, sir. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's a cold water. I should have brought a change of clothes, though, because I can tell I'm sweating. Yep. You are definitely. You're Ooh. red. Steve, yeah. you're red. Well, that's just my high blood pressure. Okay. <laughs> my dad's got that same thing. Everybody thinks he's sunburned, but I'm like, no, nah, he's just, that's that's me just too. how he looks. I don't know. Okay. How old is he? Um, 55. All right, I got a few more years. Okay. Then. Cool. Okay. We made it to 55. Ooh, dang. Blood pressure. What are we doing now in this fourth one? Or I didn't really ask you the third oh, question. Can I spin them around this way? Well, no, we got, you oh. got to hit the fourth oh, one. You can't oh. skip out. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay. All right. What are you going to ask me? Okay. Uh, I want to know about the President's Club. I heard you won an awesome award or something like that. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is? The President's Club? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Kia has been offering uh, top dealers in the country a President's Club award for, uh, geez, I think like 15 years. We've won it about eight, eight or nine times. Really? We have. It's, um, it's pretty cool. It's the elite dealers. I think there was uh, 20 or 40 dealers in the United States that qualify. So it's based on your sales volume. It's based on your customer satisfaction. Uh, for both sales and service. Okay. Um, there's all sorts of things. So it's tough to get. We've won it multiple times. Absolutely. So. 
That's what we it's try to do here. Pretty I mean, big we, deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, we really try to be friendly. I mean, that's come on down here and hang out with us. Like, that's that's right. Right. That's well, your store, actually, um, in Lima, has the highest service CSI in the whole central region. Absolutely. Which great. is fantastic. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Pat Kevin Castle on the back for that Kevin one. Does there you go, Kevin. Kevin. That's right, Kevin. Kevin, there he is. He made yeah. it. <laughs> Kevin and his team do a fantastic job. And, uh, you know, we've gotten a bad rep down here for. Uh, there's been some changeover in management staff. We've got a great team in here now. Absolutely. And, uh, we get all sorts of fantastic reviews from people. There's some things down here that happened in the past that, you know, we want to get by. And, and I think we want to let people know it's a new team down here and they're doing a great job. Absolutely. And you can't win these awards by not taking care of your customers. That's what I'm so, saying. That's right. Absolutely. You're doing a great job. Yes. For sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Give ourselves a round of applause. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Honestly, you can try. Honestly, thank you. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. Okay. All right, now, now I can feel from the lips to the tongue. Yeah, I'm telling you what, man. Tip my tongue is burning. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. So that fourth wing, if you want to give that a spy about where you want to eyeball that one at. There's no place to right. hide. Right. It's coded. Right. They made sure. They made sure no. They got you too, though. Wing. Yeah, they do. All right. I'm good. Oh, oh man. You know when you go to the dentist and they give you a shot and they numb you the up? Wing. Oh, I got to go? You yeah. quit talking? <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I played a little hockey. You do. That's what I was gonna. Can you? You know how to tell me about that? I guess. Yeah. You played a little hockey. I might die here. First. Yeah. You are. You are getting red. Holy smokes! All right. So I had uh, my lips split open. This is a funny story. So we had the helmet came off and got into a little tussle and got hit and split my lip open. <clears throat> and I had to go to the hospital to get some stitches. Right. And the guy pulled out this big needle to give me a shot in my mouth, in, oh. in the lip. Oh. I don't like needles. Right, neither do I. I don't like hot chicken wings either. No, man, the fourth one. <laughs> I can't finish the story. <laughs> You're doing so well, though. I'll tell you what, man. I need to. Your arms are turning red, too, brother. <laughs> oh. See the tears? Those tears are real. <laughs> oh. It killed me. Can I go back to an easy one? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a new strategy. Mm. Oh. I love that strategy. Where's the bread? <laughs> oh, I asked for bread or crackers. They just laughed at me. Yeah, I told you we had peanuts. Oh. You're shaking. I, I know. <laughs> That fourth one is. If you something. think this is fake, it's not. It's 100% real. <laughs> oh. Anybody can buy the sauces. I'm telling you, anybody can go out and buy this. Did you buy some milk? I did. Oh, man. Well, that's the milk. I almost spilled it. My hands are shaking so bad. <laughs> Woo. So I'll try to tell you the story. I didn't even cry this bad when I got stitched up. <laughs> eight, eight stitches in my lip. Boom, 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 boom. Instead of one shot. But the, the lip feeling tingly. It did feel like that. Now it just feels awful. <laughs> feels like it I does, got, yeah. It feels like I got a punch to the face again. I swallowed a hornet, man. Woo. Now it's my tongue. Mm. Oh, now the nose is running. Yep. <laughs> Still one more to go. Who, <laughs> who are people that's it, that really like to watch this kind of suffering? Thousands, honestly. Pain and suffering. Surprised. Thank you, honestly, for everybody for being here. Man. It was so easy for the first three. I told you. I told you? <laughs> Nobody told me anything. I told you. They, Becky says, come down to Lima. They get your coffee. And then this happens. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Becky said this is like the best day of her life. I see. She, she was she excited. She did say that. Yeah, yeah, she did say that. In yeah. pain. <laughs> oh. All right. Woo. Okay. So... Oh. So we Cheers. he don't like needles, but we like very hot chicken wings. No, I don't like that. Either. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta eat the layer and take a bite of that last one. You wanna take a look at that last one, man? Not at all. I'm still all that? dying. Yeah. Take a second. How many times have you done this? Oh, like five or six, probably. Yeah. Six there. Misery loves company. <laughs> that they do. Absolutely. My favorite saying. Not my favorite. That's why. 
We're all very tight down here. We're all honestly very tight knit. We're like a family down here, and it's been very easy to sit down here and do this. This has honestly been the most nerve wracking one, honestly. <laughs> like, I get to, they, that's what was funny. They're like, you get to just interview the salesman. I'm like, okay, that's fun. And then, like, boom, they're like, man, this is Steve Taylor's gonna come down to this. I was like, all right, let's wow. do that. All right. This is, <laughs> Well, kudos to you for doing this like six times. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Like I said, thank you for allowing us to do this. I wouldn't do this again if you paid me. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. He does pay me, so it works. Uh, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? I'll do it. <laughs> All right, are you ready for the last wing? Let's just do one, dude. Just no. It up. Let's do it. You have to. How long does the show last? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, until you get the fifth wing eight. <laughs> My daughter's even telling me, don't do it. Yeah, but she's not. She's like, do it. Yeah, I saw her do it, yeah. What the she's heck? She's like, I can't see my dad be a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this is enjoyment for so yes. many. Yes, honestly. It is. That's why we were real happy to have you down So, here. the next question is, though, like, once I take a bite of this, I gotta wipe away the tears first. Absolutely. How, when does the pain end? And see, yeah. I mean, it just doesn't stop. That's I thought maybe you want to do this after lunch, man. You want to come down here and do it before lunch. I'm not gonna argue with you. You know what I mean? This is kind of an after lunch type of deal. Um, you got about probably about another hour or two of it sitting in you. You know what I'm saying? And then the rest of the night, you might really. I don't know, dude. You just you'll be thirsty all night. I know this is a family show, all night. but I always hear hot stuff's worse the second time around. What, you know, uh, honestly, you know, tell I don't me know. about that. You've done it six times. I have done it six times. You know what I mean? But it's it's not. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. My pizza diet of you know what I mean? Every night pizza, it just works. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing. It just nothing's changed. Everything's good. Have you ever had anybody throw up on the show? You know, we almost threw up the last dab when we did with Ethan. Ethan, I don't know what possessed him. He's like, bro, I, we should do the last dab. And I was like, oh, okay. So we did the last dab. Could be a first. We did. You know, yeah. I'm not. I'm, if you really want to do it, I will do it with you. you know throw I mean? up? No! Oh. <laughs> Back down, you'll throw up <laughs> after the last time. That was, that's a thick one. So I thought the first three, I was doing pretty good, and, and I saw you were struggling. Fourth one took me over the top, but you're good. So that's what I'm saying. you got to keep it. you got to keep a steady pace. Is it a tolerance? You built up a tolerance? Not really. Like I said, it's just a steady water pace, man, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> they talk smack, but it does work. I feel like with every <laughs> breath I take, I can feel it. Yeah. Like, don't breathe. Absolutely. Breathe out. Absolutely. That's why you get cold water. Yep. I should have done some, uh, like, studying up on this. <laughs> Best way is to eat these hot chips. Yeah, and if you'd have done that, you'd come in here with some wild tactics, putting wax on your tongue and stuff like that, and it would have just been like, I don't, I don't know. know. I think I would just add a piece of bread. Okay. I heard a piece of bread, like a piece of bread or crackers does the trick. Honestly, yeah. That might have worked. I'm shocked oh, the break room here. Do nobody. Do oh my sandwich. gosh, they do. <laughs> That's anything. The bottom, the bottom what do you want? She's got it. She can get it done. <laughs> That's really a peanut butter sandwich? That's a peanut butter That's sandwich. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah. Might need it. I just thought a cracker would do. Are you going to ask me something else before I die? Do we have to eat the swing and I'll ask you? <laughs> How big a bite I got to take out of this one? Man, like I said, we can uh, one fifth, 20 percenter. <laughs> can no, you see the sweat in the air yet? Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Absolutely. Come on here. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm doing it. You do it. Let's do it. Do it. <laughs> it was his own. Oh, jeez. Where can I Ooh. go? Mm. Mm, that one just creeps on in there. So, the last question I have for you, kind of a test of characters, test of values. What advice would you give to anybody coming onto the sales force? Ooh. Can I take a drink first? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, and that burns your fingers. That last one burns your fingers. I guarantee, man. What if all of a sudden you had, sorry, I started having a heart palpitation. Man, uh, St. Readers, boom, <laughs> <a> straight <laughs> shot that way. Down, I say, I yeah. go down. You yep. got the paddles? Yep. Yeah, somewhere. We got an eye wash tape. I'm sure we got those. <laughs> we got right. I'm, I'm telling you, this has got to be around there somewhere. The heart station is right across the street. We got a jump box right around no, the corner. No, that would have been cool. Jump box. We should have had some of those fire the fire departments and paramedics on, on site, you know, just in case. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. They are, I mean, they are just right there, too. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're going to watch the show later. All right, you're asking me about advice? To anyone entering the sales force, you want to be a new salesperson, you know, or anybody thinking about becoming a salesperson, you know, what do you value? What advice would you give to that person? Oh, that man. last one creeps in, man. I'm telling you. It does. It's a slow roll. Uh, 
first thing everybody says if you know somebody can talk they're like oh you'd be a good salesperson like you can talk you can sell ice you know to an Eskimo man I think it's the other way around you got to be a good listener and you got to be able to say no to chicken wings <laughs> he couldn't do it he couldn't do it um, but no you have to be able to uh, to be a good salesperson you got to have a servant's heart you got to be able to take care of customers absolutely that's the biggest thing absolutely um, you know if you if you have a desire to help people you can be a good salesperson. Gotcha. Uh, but listening, you know, people come in, they have problems, we're here to help solve problems. Absolutely. That's what we do. Right. Um, so that's the biggest advice I'd give. Absolutely. That sounds like some Dave Eversol talking right there. How can I help you today? You know, what problem can I help you with today? So I like to drink cold Bud Lights. It's a little early in the morning to have a cold Bud Light, but I could imagine having a cold beer would make this process so much better. Well. And the other thing, I, I do enjoy a couple shots every now and then. Okay. Tequila, All right. that, that might be my go-to. Okay. Um, you know, there's some of those new, uh, what do they have, like the Jack Daniels Honey, uh, what is that called? Uh, one of those, you know, like Fireball. That last wing, it was almost like a little bit of a head rush, you know, after you do a couple beers, you do a couple shots real quick. Yeah. What the hell is in that thing? Man, that, that's what I'm saying. How do you create a slow creeping heat like that? You know what I'm saying? You bite into that and just, it's mustardy, but then that, that heat, it just rolls right in, man. It's so something I got I gotta drive back to Toledo. I don't know. I'm buzzing right now. Uh, Amelia. I don't know. Yeah, she's 14, yeah. man. Well, I'm about to be 14. Yeah. She's not even 14 yet. Yeah, well, just push the seat up. I don't know. She's like, yeah, she's fine. Woo. <laughs> well, can we go back and rate these things? If you want to, yes, absolutely. Where would you like to be at? Well, no, number four was awful. Number four is awful. Five, I'm, I, like you said, I can feel yeah. it coming up. Yeah. Four got me. One, two, three, not bad. Right. I actually would have enjoyed it. Yep. If I was sitting at like beat ups or something. Right. But number four, with the, yep, with the number Bud four Light. man. But number four got me. Yep, absolutely. There's nothing but heat there. It is just hot mm. heat. like. I mean, I don't yeah. yeah, that's the hottest wing I've ever had in my so life. So this is hotter than four? <sighs> that one I feel like is more long lasting than four. That oh, one, great. Then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that one is just the cherry on top. Different type, type of thought music. Thought you were gonna, yeah. Oh, thought, you know what I mean? No, it's, it is, yeah. After that one you'll be like, oh man, that last one sticks with you for a while. Does anybody know oh, how many rest stops there are between here and Toledo? <laughs> Probably about three or four. Probably three. Three. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, All right. I survived. You did. Steve Taylor, you did. You Woo. did absolutely survive. Uh, I cannot thank you enough for taking time on your busy schedule to come down here and do this with us. This is so phenomenal. Um, I want to say it was fun, but it wasn't fun. It was fun. You had a great time. I know uh, you did. I, I had a blast. Good. 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 You were awesome. Great. All right, everybody give it up for it Mr. Taylor. Woo. 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 Thank you. Thank you. That was good. We made thank it. you. We did. Thank you, Steve. I Lots appreciate fun, it. Man. Absolutely. Thank you. Yep.